two students from Whangaparaa College up Auckland's northeastern coast uh, taking a petition to Parliament calling for the GST to be removed on sanitary products. Rebecca Jacobs and Melanie Wilcock were doing a school project that took off and then took off some more. I spoke to both Year 13 students via Skype video during their morning break this morning and Melanie began by telling me how the whole thing came about. Basically we had to think of a policy or law we would like to change and study it and come up with a protest. Social action. Yeah, like a yeah. social action protest that we would carry out. But we were expecting it to not really go anywhere. We were kind of just like, oh yeah, it's probably just a school assessment. We'll and just then get our was, friends to sign the petition. Yeah, and then it just blew up and we're like, whoa, okay. <laughs> it was really cool. It's super cool. So what is the latest count? What, how many signatures do you have now? Um, over 25,000. Which is remarkable for any petition, but one that started as a school project. It, it's extraordinary, yeah. isn't it? So what does that speak to? Why are so many people signing this? Um, I think a lot of people just agree with us. It just so, it seems silly to tax something that we, mm. we need. It's a necessity, and I think a lot of people agree with that, um, which uh, through social media it got a lot of a big following and then... A lot of people just agree that it's just a silly thing to have. Yeah, it's something that affects all families, well, especially women who are single mothers and maybe they'll have three daughters, so they have to pay for three their three daughters yeah. and themselves while trying to pay all their bills. Yeah, I even my auntie herself, she's she was a single mother of five daughters, so I can imagine the price she would have had to pay mm. for things like this. Yeah, that's a ridiculous monthly cost. And as you say, it's a gender-specific cost because men don't menstruate, yeah. obviously. So men never, yeah. men never pay this tax. The other issue is that there are now increasingly stories of people who simply can't afford these products at all. Are yeah. you hearing from those people? Have you heard those sorts of stories? A lot of people who signed our petition, they left a little note. And a lot of people have said, um, especially like uni students, have said this has happened to them. They can't afford them. Mm. and so they go without or they take time off school or uni and just deal with it in you know, a different way but it's not good and it's not sanitary yeah okay so you have been approaching MPs what kind of response have you had we sent it to quite a few MPs and it's been sent off to Judith Collins but we haven't had a response from her yet but it's with her for a consideration and what sort of response are you after do you think that it is possible to remove GST from what's called sanitary products or is it just that you want to have a larger discussion about the cost of, of tampons and pads? Well we're starting off to make the discussion larger but we believe that if our society comes together that we can make a change because if everyone if everyone comes together and fights for one thing that they believe is right then we can make that change we just need that support we are very happy just to have the idea out there and to be mm. discussed because Great it's an awareness. issue that hasn't really people just ignore it a lot and hasn't really been out there mm. very much and so what is the change you most want to make if the momentum that this is already gathering picks up even greater speed and actually people in Wellington do start responding. What is it you would like them to do? We would like them to respond towards the public and offer a way that they can help. So if the GST is unable to be removed, maybe talk about subsidising or getting, because I know Pharmac were talking about helping provide sanitary products for certain young girls so maybe expanding on that and another, seeing, yeah another yeah. Um, another way we could go about it is companies like the warehouse could simply take 15 percent off the price and leave the tax on there because if that's easier within like parliament and all that leave the tax on there however companies that sell the product take that 15 percent off themselves and do something to help with the cause that's Rebecca Jacobs and Melanie Wilcox